So you're going to go to the Invergrove Heights Community Schools website, just the home page. On the left hand side it says staff, you're going to go to staff resources and then Eclipse Curriculum Mapping and for internet privacy reasons I'll tell you all what your username and password are if you don't know it um, but I'm just going to log into mine um, the one thing I do actually need to say too is you need to allow pop-ups in order to get onto Eclipse so it's already done on this one but if you enter your login and your password it'll, and your, you don't have pop-ups allowed a little message will come up across the top saying you must allow pop-ups so just click on it and allow pop-ups for the site and then you should only have courses for whatever department you're in I have everybody so mine is pretty big but you should if you're in math you should only have your math courses listed so yours won't be as detailed as mine and then all you do is find your course click on it on the left hand side this is what it's going to look like once everything is entered into the system um, if you want to add a new unit you enter the unit here you have to select a unit start time or it won't let you move on so just roughly the time that you teach that unit and then however long you spend on it and then you click save new unit and then it's just going to add it into the information. You click on the unit to get into the actual content to start adding your concepts and skills and learning goals. Once you get into the screen, all you do is click on the concept, skills, and products. And you can type. Then you hit save concept skills and products and it puts it right underneath the thing here if you make a mistake and you want to go back in and fix anything you just click on that and it'll bring you back into what you were working on and you can add stuff and then you just save it again and it adds it to it once you're done with the concepts and skills for that course you go up here and click on return to course and it brings you back to this page add the next unit save it and then you go into it to add your information It does allow you to cut and paste, um, which is easier, but it does glitch a lot when you do the cut and paste. So for some, it may be easier just to hand type it. Um, but you are, the option to cut and paste is there. And then once you're done with your information for that course, to go back out to your main page, just click on courses. And it'll take you back to all of the courses that you are a part of.